Hey guys, it's Kira here. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of a book haul for you all because I have a lot of books that I have bought recently because I finished my HSC and now I have all the time in the world to read books. Yay! Okay, so I should probably just get straight into this. Uh, the book I bought is not so much of a book but rather a comic and that is The Walking Dead by read that Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore which I heard a lot about the TV show so I thought yeah why not it was relatively cheap so I bought it and I'm pretty excited and I opened it up and all the pictures are in black and white which is pretty exciting it's sorry the next book that I bought was one that I had wanted for a little while but I never got around to purchasing it for whatever reason and that is I Am Not A Serial Killer by Dan Wells. Um, I really really like these sort of books that deal with darker psychological issues so for me this was really exciting and it was it was dirt cheap so I had I just had to buy it and I'm really 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 excited to read it so I will get onto that relatively soon, I would say. Uh, the next book I got, I got it because it was cheap and yeah, it was cheap. And that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer and this is the Omnibus number two. Now I don't actually own the first one, but I will get around to buying it. And I basically bought this because I love Buffy and I love all things Josh Whedon and I know he didn't actually write any of the stories in here but it's still Buffy and I own a couple of copies of the Angel ones as well so I thought, yeah, why not? The next one is Rotten Ruin by Jonathan Marbury and it's a zombie book and I thought, considering all the hype around zombies at the moment, I thought maybe I should give some zombie books a go. It's... I'm hoping it's a bit dark. Uh, okay, the next one I am really, really excited about because I hadn't heard of it because I have been in my little bubble for the last 8 to 12 months. I haven't heard of any new books. So when I started reading more about this one, I got really, really excited and I just really, really wanted it. And that is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. And as far as I know, the people are born with a grace, which is essentially a special skill set. And the main character is born with the grace of killing. So this, it's fantasy and it has female strong lead, hopefully strong lead, which is exactly my type of thing. So I am hoping that it is good and I know it's a trilogy so fingers crossed that it will be fantastic and I will want to pursue it. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, okay, the next book is Bone Shaker by uh, Sherry Priest or Cherry Priest. And I got this one because I wanted to start reading something that was a little bit different, but that I thought that I would still like. And I thought, well, steampunk. Um, it's it's quirky. It's still quirky and it's still got that different vibe to it. And this one I bought because it's set in Seattle rather than England. And now I, I love England to bits and pieces. I will read pretty much anything set there. But I thought, why not? try somewhere different so I bought this one in the hopes that I would like it and I, th I uh, the next two I bought okay I had seen these books in Big W and I'd seen the covers and I thought oh, it's exactly they look identical to Aragon the inheritance cycle which are some of my favorite books I, I love the detail and the concept behind them so when I saw these originally, I thought, no, there's, there's no way I'm buying into this. But little did I know that the premise was so enticing. And 
That is Eon and Yona by Alison Goodman. Uh, okay, these have dragons and they have Chinese mythology, so I could not resist them. And they were, they were really cheap. I think this was $2.95 and this was $5.95 or something like that. So I'm really, really excited to read these. I'll probably read these in a couple of days. Um, fingers crossed that they're as good as everybody says they are because I, I'm so, so excited. I love anything with dragons in them. So hopefully they're good. Um, okay, the next book is Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Now this was recommended to me by a friend when I think I was in like year six, so seven years ago, but something about the original covers with the people's faces on them really, really freaked me out for some reason and I just didn't want to read them because the covers, they just freaked me out. Um, but then I found this one the other day in a bookstore and I thought maybe I should give it a go. And as far as I know, this is about people who, when they turn 16, they undergo surgery to become pretty. So it's essentially a dystopian novel, and I know a lot of people have read it. And a lot of people really like the series, so I thought, yeah, why not? So that is Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Uh, the next one is an anthology of short stories, and I bought it mainly because the authors, some of the authors in there, uh, particularly Garth Nix, and that is Steampunk, which is edited by Kelly Link and Gavin J. Grant. So, as you can see, there's Holly Black, Cassandra Clare, and Garth Nix. There's also Libba Bray, who I know a lot of people like, and Sean Chang as well, which is really exciting. Excuse my phone. Um, so I thought... If I'm going to start reading steampunk, maybe I should start with little stories and see how I go. And the next book I'm really excited about as well. Um, I'll just show you. It is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. And I know, again, I'm really, really far behind or whatever. But when I heard about this book, when I heard it was a sci-fi and it was a dystopia, I thought... This is exactly my type of book. Exactly my type of book. Sci-fi is just, oh, all sci-fi. All the sci-fi. And so I'm going to get onto this pretty soon. Most people know what this is about. Um, I am worried, however, that the romance in it could be a little bit cheesy, could be a little bit overdone, maybe unnecessary, and it might detract from the plot a little bit. I'm hoping not because I have high, high hopes for this book. Really, really high hopes. So I will get onto that pretty soon, probably. Hopefully. Um. Okay. The next one I bought because it was really cheap, and I'd heard that a lot of a lot of a lot of people had really, really liked it, enjoyed it, and that is Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. Uh I bought this for a dollar. So. I don't actually know anything about this book other than the fact that a lot of people thought it was good. So I bought I bought it and I will read it eventually in the next few months, definitely. Sorry, my stack is falling over. Okay. The next one I'm excited about. I read The Hunger Games like everybody else in the world, and I really, really, really liked them. So I bought Divergent by Veronica Roth. So, so excited for this book. Um, I'm hoping it's really different from The Hunger Games. Uh, like, I know it's a dystopia, and I know that I think they're factions or something like that. But I'm hoping that this will be fantastic, and that the third book won't kill the series. Oh, Hunger Games. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. I think I'm probably just going to buy um, Insurgent straight away when I start reading this one because I don't think I'm going to be able to resist. The next one is another um, anthology, and that is Zombies vs. Unicorns, which is edited by Holly Black and Justine Labalestier. Sorry if I just murdered her last name. 
Um, and I bought this because it looked like a lot of fun. Amazing authors in here as well. You've got um, Garth Nix again. You've got Cassandra Clare, Libba Bray, Maureen Johnson, Scott Westerfield. You've got Meg Cabot. Yeah, pretty, pretty awesome authors in there. So really, really, really excited to read this. Okay, the next one is what I am going to start reading probably tomorrow. Uh, and that is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. And as far as I know about this book, it is about children trapped in a maze. And I love anything to do with a maze or a labyrinth and people being trapped inside it. And I really hope this has sort of that eerie overtone that a lot of stories with mazes and labyrinths tend to have. Because I think I have the potential to really, really, really love this series. But... It will, it will depend on the writing, I think. And I have heard wonderful things about this book as well. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, the next book I got, okay, my friend told me about this book a year ago. And I forgot the title. Absolutely forgot the title. I knew what the cover looked like. And I knew what it was about. And I could not remember the title. And I found it the other day and I bought it. And that is Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. And it is about two of my favorite things in the whole, whole world. Fairies and Shakespeare. Yes, Shakespeare. So I bought it. I had to buy it. I, other than that, I don't know what the book is about. And I know this, I think there's three of them. Um, and I'm so, so excited to read this. Oh my goodness. Yay. Okay, the next one I bought... I should have bought it ages ago, but I didn't because I kept forgetting about it, which kind of makes me sad. And that is Paper, Down Paper Towns by John Green. It, it really opened my mind up to a lot of issues that I didn't really understand before. And it really did move me. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm hoping, I mean, it's John Green, it'll be amazing. And the next one, okay, the next one is also John Green, and that is The Fault in Our Stars. Now, I have read this book, I just didn't own a copy of it, and it was on special, and it's hardcover, and I thought, yep, I have to own this, and I have to give it to my sister to read this afternoon, so, yay, John Green, oh my god, the feels with this book, the feels, oh my god, so good. Um, the next one I bought on a bit of a whim, it was $5, down from 35 and that is Animal Crackers by Hannah Tinty. And I have heard about this book somewhere in a movie or a television show or something that I've read. And I can't think of what it is. So if you know, please leave a comment down below. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I think it's sort of like an Animal Farm-esque sort of thing. And I loved that book. So I thought, this is $5. I must have it. So I bought it. And I'm thinking I'm going to give it to Gabriella because Gabby was going to buy it. But then I bought it. <laughs> the next one I have is David Mitchell's backstory, and the cover's really creepy. <laughs> but um, I love David Mitchell. I love his personality. I love his intelligence. I love his rants. He's just amazing. So I thought I must have this book, and the bit on the back—it's already hilarious. So I will really, 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 really like this book, and it can go with my Stephen Fry and Tina Fey biography collection so pretty um the next one i splurged on because i wanted the hardcover and that is ready player one by ernest klein and i don't really know much about this one i know it's a, it's got like an 80s sort of vibe to it and i think i'm really really really, really gonna like this book so i'm really excited for it and it's got such a lovely cover and i'm hoping i'll enjoy it as much as possible I'm sorry, the lighting's gone really weird. Okay, the next two books I was really excited when they came out. I didn't know they were out. And the first one is Oblivion by Anthony Horowitz. And this is the fifth book in the Power of Five series, which I adore. I think I like it more than the Alex Ryder series, which I know might be a little bit blasphemous, but that's, that's my opinion. And this cover is really pretty. It's It's got a glittery sort of lightning vibe because i believe this one's set in antarctica so it reflects that reflects that and it reflects the title as well same time i bought the new lemony snicket book who could that be at this hour 
Let me stick at Io a lot too because he's the reason I started reading because the series of unfortunate events, which I have over there somewhere, is the first series that I really read and really enjoyed. So when I found this was out, I had to have it. The next three books, okay, these cost about $40 in Australia and I got them online for $18 and they cost me $25 each including shipping. And these are the Leatherbound Barnes & Noble editions and I got the Picture of Dorian Gray and Other Works by Oscar Wilde. I wanted to read The Picture of Dorian Gray. So I was about the gold pages and the bookmark and it's amazing. Uh, I also got The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe and I think this is my favourite one. It's got silver tinted pages, the inside cover, it just reflects Edgar. Oh. Um, and my shelf or one of the shelves that I have somewhere. And the last book that I got, The Love of My Life, William Shakespeare, The Complete Works. And again, it's got the gold tinted pages, the bookmark, a lovely portrait of Shakespeare on the front, and it's got all his works in there. And I'm really, really excited because, I mean, I love Macbeth, I love Midsummer Night's Dream. I think some of their, they're some of my favorite stories ever so I'm really happy to have this uh, so yes I now own this lovely book uh, and that's pretty much it for me uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I apologize for it being so long but I have bought lots of books in my post HSC sort of um, spiel and yeah I will read them all, and if anyone wants reviews for any of them, let me know. Uh, that's all from me at the moment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!